To all the lucky folks who have gotten their hands on the new Galaxy Note 9, you probably want to keep in a beautiful, pristine state that it wasn't in when you first took it out of the box. Meaning, you probably need a case. There are all, all sorts of brands, types, color, and material of cases to choose from, and sometimes it's hard to decide which one will be the best to protect and enhance your new phone. So, I have 5 different cases from Rinky for your viewing pleasure. Rinky reached out to me and asked if I would like to review their new Note 9 cases and of course I said yes because I'm a huge, huge fan of Rinky. Let's start out with what seems to be Rinky's flagship, the Fusion. So the Fusion is your typical clear case. It's pretty durable for how simple it looks. The frame is flexible and the plastic bag is pretty hard. It's easy to just pop right in and pop right out. All four corners are reinforced for some added protection too. They recently came out with this really pretty blue color to match the blue Note 9. The S Pen cutout looks good and the buttons are easy to press and responsive. There isn't a guide for the fingerprint scanner on this one, which is a huge problem but I know some people prefer one. Overall, a pretty standard clear case. Now let's step up the notch a bit. The Fusion just mega evolved into a Fusion X. This one is also a clear case but look at the design on the back. They have these notches at the corner which I guess makes the X shape. That looks super cool. At a closer look, you can see that the clear screen has this dot matrix pattern. The Fusion case has it too. I think it helps with the rainbowing effect. But this one is way cool. It feels really nice and I love the grip on this. Buttons are clicky. The S Pen cutout with this one is also great. And this one actually has a divot underneath the fingerprint scanner to help guide your finger on and off the scanner easily. Continuing on, we have the air case. Case itself is really soft and flexible. I don't think it's meant for drop protection. Like I said, you probably aren't getting this case if you drop your phone 5 times a day, but they do have the basic raised lip and it should prevent basic scratches and dings. Let's check the S Pen. It's good. Fingerprint scanner, easy to get to and finger just slides right off it. But in all works and they just have the satisfying click to them. But it looks so pretty, it really brings out the blue. I just love this. This case is almost like a phone skin. It's really thin. Next up is this little number. It's called a wave if you couldn't guess from the cool rolling wave motif on the back. That pops right in and wow, that looks gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but there's an actual flowy design on the back. This one is the metallic chrome. There's a color difference between the top and bottom part. Top part is soft TPU and bottom part is the harder PC. S Pen accessibility checks out, button receptivity also check, and it comes with the fingerprint scanner guide. It all checks out. You can tell if it's cause taking that thing off wasn't the easiest things in the world. Moving on to Onyx, it's kind of harder TPU case, definitely not as bendy as the Air was. It also has a different feel to it, like much sturdier. They have this metal pattern on the back and the little details on the top and bottom. This one looks and also feels really tough. I could ask this case to watch over my expensive Galaxy Note 9 and feel like it's in the good hands. Our final S Pen check, excellent. Fingerprint scanner, marvelous. Button responsiveness check. And that's all the Rinky cases I have with me today for the Galaxy Note 9. Thanks for joining me on my 3-day Samsung journey. Tune in next time. Bye!